what we may try uh, to do. Uh -huh. Just get her out, and then let's just hold her underneath her and set it. Okay. What is going on, Cog Squad? Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm, and. Y'all, I know we've been saying this a good bit lately because we've had a lot of surprises and special things happening, but today is pretty special. One of those days, uh, well, actually, we've been planning this for, for a good little while. Y'all hear them pups playing? <laughs> but special family coming by today. Oh, my gracious. What are y'all doing this morning? Hmm? I got to go get some hay. Holly, you want to stay here and play? You going to go help me? That almost rhymed, didn't it? Told y'all was a word, Smith. All right, let me go get some hay. And I got another thing I need to do. So I just added a second hay feeder to the girl goat from Mildred and Moe and all the girls stay. Uh, because we got some square bales left over. And we want to add some more hay feeders in there anyways because we think we probably gonna need it. And... We about to tell you guys why. Y'all hang on, I'm fixing to get it. I'm fixing to get it, Mo Man. We fixing to get this. Y'all hang on. I'll give me a second. All right, Mildred, give me just a second here. Give me just a second. I gotta get this string cut out. Yeah. How about it, Skipper Tipper? All right, Mildred, we got two hay feeders in here now. And that's good, ain't it? Got y'all spread out. And we're gonna go get some round bells tomorrow. So well, there'll be plenty of hay for you guys. But we thought we may need to add another hay feeder in here because we got a surprise coming a big surprise actually kind of a mini surprise maybe a big mini surprise i think that's what we'll call it our big mini surprise we've also added a fourth porta hood that's that right mo and we got this new special feed here from combat some feed we didn't we, we never had before so I've been telling everybody about this big mini surprise that's coming. Yes. Are you excited? <laughs> well, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little anxious because yeah. I, I don't know what to expect. Yeah, we never owned a big mini surprise. That's right. <laughs> well, she was kind of a big mini surprise. We didn't know she was going to be a mini surprise. No, we didn't. Oh, Thank crazy you. goats. Yeah. But she, she, she's the size of a mini. She's just wider than a mini. Right. But that's not what the mini surprise is. No, that's not it. And guess what, y'all? That big mini surprise is pulling up right now. Can't wait to show y'all this. Here we go. 
I'm sure that 99.9% .9 of y'all recognize who that is. And that is Arms Family Homestead. And they brought us their miniature donkey, Jesse. So we have been discussing this with uh, Daniel and DJ for quite some time now. This wasn't something that just happened overnight. We're pretty super excited about all of this. Really, 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 really are. Uh, a mini donkey is something that Brooke has been wanting for a really, really long time. And we were so excited and super grateful when DJ asked us, were we interested in uh, having Jesse? So if you don't know the backstory about Jesse, Jesse is a very, very special mini donkey. See, when Jesse was born, Jesse had uh, some very serious issues, uh, very, very scary. And she had to have an emergency plasma transfusion and actually use a horse plasma. And she had to make several trips to the vet, emergency vet trips. And honestly, you know, we were, I was talking to Daniel about it when all this was happening. And they really, really were scared. And quite frankly, I think they had been pre prepared themselves for the worst when it came to Jesse. But Jesse pulled through and survived it all. And of course, now you see Jesse is a healthy, happy, mini donkey. But from the vet's recommendations and the arms, they really don't or they don't want Jesse to be bred. So that's when they reached out to us uh, several, 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 several months ago and asked us, would we, would we be interested in taking Jesse in to our farm? And of course, we were ecstatic. We were absolutely ecstatic, so grateful for them, grateful for this opportunity. And with Brooke wanting mini donkeys or a mini donkey for so long now and how special Jesse is, uh, we were like, absolutely. And that's why we put the extra hay rack in here. That's why we put the extra porta hood in here. And of course, as you guys know, this is all gonna be temporary. As soon as the barn gets finished and the pastures get fenced in, which will be happening in the next month or so. So depending on the weather, that, 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 that's gonna be our biggest thing right now. It's gonna be weather pending. Uh, Branton and Builders will be back here soon and me and Brooke are going to get started on the whole pasture setup and how kind of kind of how we want to do things. But we think Jessie's going to be absolutely happy here once she gets really, really settled in. Right now she's just a little nervous and unsure, but she'll get settled in. As a matter of fact, she's, she's settling in a lot faster than what we anticipated. Jessie's a little unsure, Holly, but Aren't we all? <laughs> she got so much energy, don't she, Jessie? Yeah. She's a sweetheart, though. Holly's a sweetheart. Holly's gone now. She's got things to go take care of. Yeah. Oh, man. You see, she's shedding her winter coat. I don't blame you. I'd be shedding my winter coat, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gracious, you are the sweetest thing. I know everything is a little unsure of you, a little unsure of things around here, but oh my gracious. Yeah. Oh, we. But you sure are sweet. Yes, you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man. I don't think you can get in my lap, Jesse. <laughs> oh, me. Y'all, this thing right here is something else. She is something else. Look how sweet she is. Oh, me. Yeah. Oh, man. I think you're going to like it here once you get adjusted. Yeah, once you get adjusted, I think you're going to like it here. Okay. You can get lots of love and hugs. Yeah. Yeah, especially from Brooke. Yeah, Brooke liable to sit out here for 12 hours with you. Who knows?
<laughs> right now, her, the Mildred is kind of the one that she's super nervous about. Oh, sweet girl. Ain't she sweet? She's so sweet. She is a sweetheart. I'm going to get her her own brush. Uh-huh. And we're going to try to brush some of this. That she's just shedding. Yeah, she's getting rid of her winter coat. But, um try to start brushing some of that out and plus she's got a little dirty since she's been here <laughs> well i saw her rolling around i did too well the goats are behind you and she's not she's not isn't she's not nervous of the goats it's mildred that yeah. she's she's nervous them out and oh gosh speaking of goats y'all look at this i got tip over here oh and i got bootsy on this side and the boss lady's back there she's not she's not supervising or anything oh tip Oh, Jesse, does Tip do that to you? No. Look at her eyelashes. I know it. Oh, <laughs> Tip. Where'd Mo go? There he is. We're playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I just didn't. I didn't realize that she was going to be this small. Yeah, she looks way. She's way smaller in person than she is on camera. <laughs> you just kind of get in your mind what you're thinking. Yeah. And you're just oh, so used to seeing girl. donkeys. We see donkeys oh, all the look. time. Always. Oh, give me some love in. Daniel says she is a hugger. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet girl. She is a hugger. Yeah, we'll take hugs. We'll get, she'll get plenty of hugs here. And we'll give hugs back to Yeah. Them. She's so sweet. Oh, man. So to give you an idea of how tall she is, I'm standing <laughs> up, and I'm 5'4", and she comes up, what, mid-thigh? Yeah. And she probably won't get too much bigger. Probably not, because she was born in August. Yeah. But she is going to get bigger. We saw her, uh, actually, uh, nibbling on the mineral block licking it earlier yes and, and i got some video of her eating earlier oh good good yeah sweet girl thought i heard mildred mildred's just jealous look at bootsy y'all look at bootsy look at that face look at that hey skipper tipper we love on you too hmm huh? I need like, I need like, I need to be like an octopus and have eight hands. And I could just scratch and, and love on everybody. You're going to need more than eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess There's so. a lot of love to give around here. Peaches, you come over here and I'll give you a back rub too. Might as well. Lucy said you better get one of those other arms. <laughs> Oh, man. That comes with Peach. Hey, Peachy. You gonna get some love, too, girl? Oh, she fixing to do a dirty job. Yeah. <laughs> she gonna clean up the poop. Oh, look at there. Oh, I'm just a little unsure. It's okay. Come here, Jessie. It's okay. You'll get used to her. You'll get used to her, Jessie. Yeah. But you're not doing bad for being on here, being here just a short period of that's time. That's right. That's what I thought. Yeah. I mean, if she's already, she's doing better than Mo was. Yeah, honestly. she's doing better than Mo. And Mo is, Mo can hold his own. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Mo is, uh, he's figured things out. He's behind. There he is. <laughs> yes, we got chores we need to do. <laughs> Yeah, we, we just want to sit here and, and uh, love on you, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Tucker says she had to come join the fun. Have you met Tucker yet? Hmm? That's Tucker. She's the cat that thinks she's a dog. Yeah. Yes, we got chores we need to do. <laughs> yeah. We, we just want to sit here and, and uh, love on you, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, guys.
has. Y'all ain't been in my garden, have you? Huh? Y'all ain't been in my garden, have you? I'm gonna go look. I am. The sheriff's already on high alert. Just, just want you guys to know. He's biting at the bit to arrest somebody this morning. Hey, Sheriff. I need you to do me a little favor and just... Just for a few weeks now, I want you to just keep a uh, little extra eye out on Miss Jessie over there. She's new to the farm. And, you know... Uh, just, just, just watch out for her for right now. I think everything's gonna be fine. I don't think there's gonna we're gonna have any issues. Everybody here is pretty much, you know, you know how everybody is here. Um, you know Mildred though. She's she gets tends to get a little jealous. So we have to I may have to get you to watch Mildred for me. But other than that, I think we're okay. So just just make her feel welcome. Listen, if you gotta make an arrest, you know that that that's fine. You know, we just may have to do a 24-hour thing, but, you know, I, th I think it's all going to be okay. I really do. Boy, Moody is hard eating on his brush this morning. <laughs> hard edit. Hey, guys. I want y'all to give Jesse a warm welcome, okay? She's a new little mini donkey we got. She's super cute and super sweet. So y'all gonna love her. So I am happy to report that all four little goslings are still here. Everybody's doing fine. And so far, so good. And I think everything is gonna be okay. I really do. Uh, I mean, anything can happen. They're still a little bitty. But goslings go up, grow up super fast, as you guys have seen with cheese. I mean, a week or two, and these things are gonna be big, big, big. With all the recent rain we've had, I wanna show y'all the sunflower patch. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. How about this, right? I mean, this is awesome. Starting to get thick, starting to get big. Now these guys won't get super, super tall because you know, we got them packed in so much. The further you spread sunflowers out, the taller and the bigger the blooms we get. But with them compact like this, you know, it's, it's not gonna give you that huge five foot plus sunflower with this humongous bloom on it. And there are black old sunflowers too, so they're not one of those mammoth types either. But if you want that really big sunflower that gets really, really tall, you wanna space them out. But that isn't what I wanna do here. What I wanted to do here is, is use this for a summer cover crop, make it super thick, have the beautiful flowers for the bees and other pollinators around here, and then we'll chop and drop it and let it compost back in the ground. And when it's thick like this, it'll help me with weeds. All right, while we're over here, I wanna look at the garden. Look at this. Man, I just checked these. I mean, <laughs> we got zucchini, we got harvest today. And if I got zucchini ready, I know I got squash ready. Look here, we got pepper blooms coming on, which is awesome. We got a cucumber ready, and we heard Miss Jessie loves cucumbers, so we may give Jessie that one. Although we got another one ready. So cucumbers are fixing to start taking off here. I'm gonna start staking up tomatoes soon. Probably do that this week. You can see we got squash and these harvesting all the way down to be quite honest with you guys. Well y'all look at that. I wonder who did this. Huh? Was he advertising on my channel now? That's what's going on here. I mean, you, you already got a million subscribers. I mean, come on. <laughs> so you're getting the head shoot painted up. 
I am. I already had this black paint. Yeah. So, you know, how can you go wrong with black? And it'll match everything. It'll match everything. Match moody. I can always get more black paint if it needs to be touched That's up. That's right. Um, it's, it's coming along good. It looks better already. Well, basically, we want it to prevent it rusting. Right. And this is the best way to do it. So. Good deal. One side done. Let it dry and flip it over. That's right. I think it looks pretty good. I like it, too. I think it looks great. It looks really good. When you get done with this, do you help me do two things? I will. Ready to harvest? We are. Since the sun has came out, and I want to look at the chance of rain, we may go ahead and get our onions going too. It's fifty percent tomorrow, Is Jason. Dang it! I've already looked because I know we need to get them out of the ground, but hasn't rained in three months, Harley. And and you said they have to dry for what? Two days? I like to leave them in the sun for two days, and then right. Oh no! It's sixty percent now. Oh, goodness. 60% tomorrow and 40% the next morning. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be harvesting either Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday. Okay. I get to try, you know, we got our horse harvesting basket. Mm hmm But I get to try my birthday present from Jacqueline and Zach Head at Head Family Farm. They got me this harvesting basket for my birthday. Jason, is the fence off? It's off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were fixing to see you do a birthday dance. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got a lot. Ooh. We got, we got a lot. Guess what I see? Your zucchini? I see zucchini. When Mary Carl sees this zucchini, you know what she's going to ask you to do? I do. She's going to ask you for you and her to make some zucchini bread. I wonder what it'd be like if it was freeze dried. Zucchini bread freeze dried. I don't know. And how would you reconstitute it? Or would you even need to? I don't know. It could be like just a little crunchy. Well, you could do two loaves. Make one for the eating and... One freeze dry one. And then do you think I could freeze dry zucchini at the same time? Sure. Without it being bread? Sure. Okay. I'm going to start at this end. Okay. You know, if, if they're this size or bigger... As long as they don't have a bloom on the end of them. Yeah, as long as they're, they're good. We don't want them to get so big they got oh, seeds yeah, all know. in them. They get too tough. Yeah. Wow, man, I'm impressed, Jason. Yeah, this is just the beginning, though. It's gonna <laughs> be It's going to be crazy. And you know what? What's that? This is the reason we bought this farm. It is. The other day when we harvested the squash, yeah. what day was that? Thursday? Gosh. I think it was Thursday. It had to have been Thursday. Yeah. There were no zucchini. That's big, ain't it? And this one's approaching being too big to... It's huge. Show them that one again. This was yeah. not there Thursday. And this is Sunday. Yeah, it, it, they'll, they'll sneak up on you. That's the whole thing about zucchini and squash is you don't see them. And then next thing you know, you got one the size of your leg. You reckon Jessie eat one of these cucumbers? I bet she will. That's a good size. Hey. hey, you know what else I'd like to try? What's that? I love squash casserole. Oh, yeah. And I'd like to make one and freeze dry it. Oh, that would be awesome. Are these uh, sunflowers mature? Oh, yeah. Can I cut some of them and yeah. put them in a vase? Absolutely. You want different colors? Um. Yeah, and about this length. A couple more. Maybe two red ones. We got lots, lots, lots. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that is pretty. I need to get them in some water, don't I? Get them in some water. And get the leaves cut off of them, and you'll be good to go. Hey, Jesse. We picked you some cucumbers. When it cools off later this evening, we'll come back and see. Uh, well, we'll just come back and give everybody a treat. How about that? We're going to have a cucumber party. You cool with that, Mildred? Yeah, 
Ollie. We got to, um, I got to move your shade cloth. Yeah. We got to go clean out the, uh, school bus. Thank you, girl. Glad you understand. We got to get that thing cleaned out. Put it in the compost pile so our garden can get even bigger next year. Hey guys, thank y'all for everything y'all do for us. We sure do appreciate y'all. Got them cleaned up, and I don't know how many five gallon buckets we got, but that's gonna come in handy later on down the road. You know what else? What's that? All those droppings that fall through. Oh yeah. They're fertilizing the ground where it sits. Absolutely. Wait a minute. Look here, you want a cucumber? She just wants loving. You want to give it to her? What's she doing? Smelling it. It might be too cold. That's something I was worried about. Because I put them in the fridge. Oh, she bit it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's foul. Oh, goodness. Oh. We got little pieces. <laughs> what do you think, Jesse? I mean, get the knife and cut it up? No, it's okay. It's okay? <gasps> Goodness, Mildred. She's less scared of the dog than she is Mildred. She is. Oh, my gracious. How about we put it in your bowl? Put it in her bowl and see what she does. You want me to cut it up? She might be full. She might be full. Oh, she just wants to hug. Look at her. Put the cucumbers in front of her and she puts her head on my shoulder. <laughs> so she just wants some loving. Yeah. I've been sitting in here with her for over an hour. Let's see what Mildred would do with a cucumber. Mildred won't eat a cucumber. Huh. Bootsy don't want it. I want it because it's cold. Chip, Chip, Chip ate it. Chip eats everything. Well, I got a good question. What's your new question? Will Nugget eat a cucumber? Will Nugget eat a cucumber? What do you think, Jesse? Jesse said that thing's kind of strange. Look here, baby. <laughs> Yeah, he spit it out. <laughs> Look. Oh, me. What What you reckon that thing is, Mama? I reckon what she is. I see you, baby. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think Jessie's happy now. What I you know think? she's happy. <laughs> and what? it just so happened that at feeding time, yeah. she was standing in here. Well, good. Because the gate was open. Good. And so I took it upon myself to shut the gate and come in and spend some time with her without the yeah. others. Well, that worked out perfect. It did. I'd and like I to get her trained to come in here. Get her trained to come in the house. <laughs> she can sit at the dinner table. She can. She just doesn't like cucumbers on her plate. She can sit at the couch for me and Mary Carl watch TV. You hear that? I bet she'll like it. <laughs> oh Jesse, we're so glad you're here. Just want to say thank you again to DJ and Daniel at Arms Family Homestead for Jesse. Uh, we love her to death already. Absolutely love her to death. And if any of you guys are not following uh, Daniel at Arms Family Homestead or his wife DJ, her channel is called Do Your Best. Y'all please go check them out and tell them that Cog Hill sent you. We love those guys to death. Y'all be good.